Hi everyone, so welcome back to a new tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make this frame triggering system. Uh, it has some basic functions like open frame, uh, close frame, and uh, close all frames. It takes the frame name and it will open or close the frame. Also, if you guys want to support me and want to have access to all of my project files, including the one you're watching right now, uh, the map will be included, the asset pack will be included, and the scripts will be included. Uh, they will all be available on my Patreon in the $10 tier. The link will be in the description and in the pinned comment. With that being said, let's start. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to set up your frames. So I'm going to add a screen GUI to start GUI, and I'm going to rename it to uh, frames. And inside of that frames folder, we're going to have a container, a frame container. So this is going to be the container of our first frame, which will be a basic shop frame. So I'm going to rename this to shop shop. And I'm just going to set the size to one comma zero comma one comma zero. And then I'm going to change its background transparency to one. And I'm going to set its anchor point to 0.5 and the position to 0 0.5 comma 0 comma 0 0.5 comma 0 and that's going to center it and set its anchor point to the middle of the frame next thing i'm going to do is make the actual frame because as i said this is the container of the frame and inside of that container we're going to have another frame which will be our main frame so i'm just going to scale it up this is going to be a shop it's not really going to be a shop it's just going to be a basic basic one i'm going to add a ui corner so the corner radius to 0 0.05 comma 0 and i'm just going to add a ui stroke to make it look a bit better and i'm just going to up the thickness and this is going to be our shop and i'm just going to maybe add a text label that will say shop text shop text scaled true font for doka one and i'm just going to set the background transparency of this to one now you're gonna make sure that all of you all of your uh, frames all of your uh, gy objects gy elements inside of the container are set to scale so i'm going to leave a link to a plugin in the description it's called unit conversion and basically when you get it install it and you're going to select your frame, you're going to go to plugins, unit conversion, press scale on the size. Now go to the text label and make sure that the size is set to scale. Okay, so now that we have a frame, I'm going to make the shop invisible. By the way, the, the reason why we have it like this is so that if you want to close or open a frame, we can just, instead of getting the original size of the actual frame you can just get the size of, of, of the container which is always uh one comma zero comma one comma zero and we can just resize that from there and you can also control the visible property okay so what i'm going to do now is duplicate the shop frame i'm going to rename this one to something like okay maybe maybe coats and i'm going to make it visible and i will just change a couple of things i'm going to change the text of this to codes I'll make sure that it's scaled, yes, and I'm just going to change the text color to something like a nice blue. Okay, so I'm going to change the color of the UI stroke too, to a nice blue, and I think that looks better. And what I'm going to do now is make sure that the code's frame is invisible and make sure that all of our frames are not visible. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is insert a module inside of... Uh, star gy and i'm going to okay so i think that a better way of doing this is adding the module to start player scripts or maybe okay i'm going to have it inside of hmm star gy i think okay star gy module script and i'm going to rename this to frame opener or frame trigger and then i'm going to uh basically get some services so services this is just a comment, by the way, you don't need this. And I'm going to get some services. So the first service I want is tween service. So local tween, local tween service is equal to game. Come on, get service tween service. And 
Then what I'm gonna do is get an, I think that's the only service we need. And what I'm going to do is get a reference to our frames. So I'm just going to do uh, local frames. Frames is equal to script.parent come with child frames. Okay, so now that we have the frames uh, screen GUI, what we're gonna do is create a function module dot open frame. Okay, so we have this function called module dot, dot open frame, and we're gonna have another function called function module dot close all frames, and we're gonna have another function called function module dot close frame. Okay. Uh, okay, function module dot close frame, and the open frame function will take an argument called frame and or frame name. And the close frame function will also take an argument called frame name. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is okay, so we have this open frame. So when we want to open a frame, we need to close the other frames that are already opened. So I'm going to do module dot close all frames. Okay, so after that, what we're gonna do is open this frame. So all we need to do is just check if that frame is, we're gonna get the actual frame from the frame name. So local frame is equal to frames confined with child frame name. And then we're gonna check if that frame is actually there. So if frame, then, then we're gonna open it. So we're gonna do frame dot size is equal to udim2 dot from scale. Oh, udim2 dot, udim2 dot from scale, zero comma zero. So we're gonna resize the frame to zero comma zero. And we're gonna make sure that frame dot visible is equal to true. And then we'll, we're gonna tween it. So tween local open tween is equal to tween service one create frame comma tween info dot new. And this is the uh, speed of the opening. So I'm just going to create some variables up here. I'm just going to call this one local frame open, sp open uh, speed. I'm going to set it to 0 0.8. This is in seconds, by the way. So I'm going to put a comment in here. And twin info dot new frame open speed comma. And we're going to give it an easy style. So right here, I'm going to have frame local frame open easing style and i'm going to have it set to enum.easing style and you can choose your easing style from here uh, I'm, go I'm going to go with uh, sign and then i'm going to do uh, enum.easing style dot sign and i'm going to give it a an easing direction so local local frame open easing direction is equal to enum dot easing direction dot in out or out then here i'm gonna put oh and here we're gonna put to info dot new from open speed sorry not enum dot easing style dot sign we're gonna put frame opening style so frame opening easing style and then frame open in easing direction and after that we'll put another comma outside of this let me just make this a bit better by dropping some lines in here so after the tween info we're gonna put a comma and what we're gonna do is okay so we have that just yeah, simple we're just going to change the size so size is equal to using two dot new dot from scale one comma one okay so that should work and what i'm going to do is frame or open tween on play all right and now we need to script our close all frames function so for underscore comma frame in pairs frames do when i check uh, by the way frames can't get children do we're gonna check if the frame is a frame. So if frame colon is a frame, then uh, module dot close. Then module dot close. Okay. 
I think it's better if we make this a quarantine.wrap function. So quarantine.wrap uh, close frame module dot close frame and parentheses and we're gonna give it the frame name so frame dot name all right so now what i'm going to do is basically what we did with the close all frames or with the uh open frame so we're gonna do local frame is equal to and frames confined for child frame name and right here we're gonna check if the frame is there then we're gonna create uh okay i think a better way of doing this okay so right here we are changing the size i'm going to get to copy this open tween right here and i'm going to paste it right here and what i'm going to do is have some variables up here so local frame frame closing style using style is equal to enum dot easing style dot sign i want to have that as sign and local frame closing easing direction is equal to enum dot easing direction dot out okay so we have that done now what i'm going to do here is 24 dot new okay we need to frame close speed so frame close speed not frame open speed i'm going to have it as 0 0.5 and this is also going to be in seconds by the way so frame open speed uh, i mean close speed right here and then we need the frame close easing style and then the frame opening uh, i mean closing easing direction okay so then we need to change the size and the size is going to be 0 comma 0 comma uh, i mean 0 comma 0 and we're gonna do by the way rename this to close tween close tween close tween and close tween dot completed can't connect function and we're gonna have a test dot weight maybe 0 point okay we don't need a test dot weight i'm just going to do frame not visible is equal to false all right so that should work now i think so what i'm going to do is require this module and test it out so i'm going to have a local script right here and i'm going to have it uh, rename it to test and i'm going to require the module so this is how you're going to be able to use this module we're going to require it in every script you need so local uh frame trigger is equal to require script.parent only if child frame trigger and i'm going to do task dot wait uh maybe five seconds and frame trigger dot open frame and i'm going to give it maybe open the shop and then we're going to do task dot wait task dot, dot wait one second and or maybe three seconds and frame trigger dot close frame and codes or maybe the open frame again open frame codes and then task dot wait another three seconds and frame trigger dot close frame this time and we're gonna close the codes frame let's see how this works i'm gonna play the game hope that this works and see what happens so wait a bit and nothing happens Okay, so I found out why, and it was very simple. All I had to do is... Okay, so when we close all frames, we need to make the this frame visible. So what we're... So I'm just going to put a wait right here. So I'm going to wait, pass dot wait, uh, frame open or frame close speed plus 0 0.1 and i'm going to play the game now and see what this will do so i'm pretty sure we have okay so let's see so as you can see now it does open it and it should close it after a bit and open the codes frame and after that it should close it completely 
Okay, good. So what I'm going to do is, is remove these prints and I'm just going to mess around with this. So the frame open speed, I want this to be 0 0.3, or maybe 0 0.4. Flame close speed 0 0.2. And I'm going to play the game and see what this does. I think this will look pretty good. So opens it, closes it, opens the other. Okay. And I think the easy style should be back for the for both of them. Yes, that does look better. But the closing is in style, I think should be sign. And then the back should be in out. And maybe make it take a bit longer. So maybe 0 0.6 to open. And I think those settings are going to be good. So after a bit, a bit it will open and it will close. I think the ease in uh, direction should be out and maybe make it 0 0.8. That should look good. And that looks clean. Closes it, opens the other. Okay, good. Uh, now what I'm going to do is show you how to... A, a, an example use of this. So let's say, I'm, I'm, by the way, I'm going to get rid of this test script. Let's say I have a button. A, okay, so I'm going to insert the button right here. I'm going to put it right here. And I'm, going, I'm going to convert it to scale. I'm going to have the text set to open shop. And I'm just going to make it look a bit prettier. So on your radius 0.1 comma 0 uh 0 0.1 comma 0 and font redoka one and then i'm going to add a script to this now inside of the script i'm going to require the frame trigger so local frame trigger is equal to require um script dot parent uh script dot parent dot Oh, I have this inside of the frames screen GUI. I'm sorry. Add another screen GUI. I'm going to call this one buttons. So buttons. And I'm just going to drag my button inside of here. And I'm going to enter this script.parent. So script.parent. Dot parent. Dot parent dot frame trigger. And what I'm going to do right here is is script.parent dot mouse button one click on connect function. Frame trigger dot open frame and then we want to open the shop. And I'm going to duplicate this button and I'm going to name it to this one will be this one's text will be open codes. I'm going to enter the script and I'm going to change this to codes. And then I'm going to rename this to open shop and this to open codes and now if you play the game that should work and if i press this it should open the shop frame and if i press this it should close the shop frame and open the codes frame and i think that looks pretty cool okay so i think this is going to be it for today's tutorial if this helps make sure to subscribe like the video share it with your friends and i will see you all in the next video bye